Dolly, probably the most famous sheep on the planet, was the first mammal that was cloned from an adult somatic cell. But what is cloning and how is it possible that this sheep did not originate from the combination of sperm and egg cell? Before explaining the creation of Dolly, make sure to follow me on Twitter at HenriksLab and subscribe to this channel. Clones? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Clones share the same genetic information. Two organisms are considered as clones when they are genetically identical. Asexual reproduction is one way in nature to create genetically identical organisms. Bacteria create a duplicate of their genome and divide by binary fission. The opposite of asexual reproduction is sexual reproduction where the father donates sperm and the mother the egg cell. Each parent provides one copy of genetic information. Dolly did not have those biological parents. This special sheep has been brought into this life by artificial cloning. In 1996 Dolly was born as the first mammal ever cloned from a somatic cell. Instead of having father and mother, Dolly had multiple mothers, each of them with one important function in the cloning process. Sheep 1, a Scottish blackface, was the egg cell donor. The nucleus was removed so that only the egg cell without any DNA remained. From Sheep 2, a different species of sheep, they took a somatic cell and isolated the nucleus which is containing all genetic information that will later be the blueprint that determines the development of Dolly the sheep. The nucleus was transferred into the oocyte. The result of nuclear transfer is a hybrid cell. An electric stimulus was used to trigger cells to divide, developing into the blastocyst stage. Now sheep 3, again a Scottish blackface, was used as a surrogate mother. The blastocyst was implanted into sheep 3 and some months later Dolly was born into this world. Dolly did not have the phenotype of the surrogate mother. Instead it had the exact same genetic information as of sheep 2. Remember, this sheep donated the nucleus containing the DNA. By the way, Dolly lived almost 7 years and even gave birth to progeny. Make sure to support the channel by subscribing and follow me on Twitter. Did you know which epidemics or pandemics in human history have killed more people than COVID-19? You will find out in this video here about the history of major pandemics. Thanks for watching.